Hello, welcome to another edition of the Morrison Report. It's May 31st, and as of about an hour ago, the House just adjourned. Uh, normally, this time of year, we'd be busy debating and voting on budgets, 12 budgets on the K-12 through uh, education budget, higher education, transportation, public safety, all the state agencies, health and human services, et cetera. We saw none of that. A lot of just rhetoric from, from both uh, sides of the aisle. Uh, appeals to, to come together, work this out. Uh, we're now 700 days without a budget. And by the way, I'm joined by State Representative Mark Batnick, one of my best friends down here in Springfield and a real fighter for the taxpayers back at home. Um, Mark, all we saw today was just a lot of, uh, it was just a lot of wasted time, wasn't it? I mean, what, but what's your, what are your thoughts on uh, what happened today and this week? Uh, well, not much happened today. A lot of wasted time, unfortunately. In fact, sometimes it seems like that's what we do down here, where where we have a process that just keeps people busy, running around, acting like they're doing things, and we haven't been tackling the real issues. Uh, I stopped voted for non-budgetary bills about a month ago, and yeah. almost that's that's almost every bill. I mean, we vote for we vote on things like um, we'll debate cursive writing, or. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll debate whether high schools need to have rooms for students to nurse their babies and mandating stuff like that, but we haven't tackled the issue of balancing the budget. We haven't passed a bill that I can recall in the last two years that makes life better for job creators who happen to employ people and pay more taxes. So uh, it's a disappointing end of session, kind of end of session, I guess, because we're going to be in continuous session. Yeah. So. I, that sums it up for me. So what we heard is uh, we're going to be called back to the call of the chair. So essentially when Speaker Madigan says, come on back down to Springfield, we'll come down again. Um, now, June 30th is the end of our fiscal year. So there's probably, you know, a, a, an increased likelihood that something will be worked out. But one thing that we've been fighting for is not to just raise taxes through the roof without changing how we're spending that money. Uh, without the fundamental reforms that, that our voters, uh, our business community is crying out for, our job creators. And like I remind people back at home, not a single dollar spent by government, federal, state, or local government, is created by government. It starts out by a transaction, commercial transaction in the private sector, a good is produced, a service is produced, and then that transaction is taxed, or individuals earn an income, and they're taxed on that, and that's how we fund government. And so the more we push that out of this state, the harder it is to fund the things that we expect government to pay for. Is it a decent seat, Mark? I, I, I feel like I'm in my economics class back yeah. in college. That, that was well done. Yeah, we don't, uh, I don't think enough of us recognize that down there. Well, we're, we're trying. Uh, we appreciate you watching, though. Um, I'll be back in Palatine for the next couple of weeks. So if you want to reach out to me at my district office or call me, email me, I'd be happy to uh, interact with you. Thanks for watching.